So the problem reads, a uniformly charged insulating rod of length 14 centimeters is bent into the shape of a semicircle as shown uh, right here in, the, in this figure. The rod has a total charge of negative 7.50 microcoulombs. Find the electric potential at point O, uh, the center of the semicircle. So here's our semicircle, and it's got all this negative charge. I'll just draw these little negatives uniformly distributed over its length. And we want to know what's the voltage right there. So uh, if I chose a little arbitrary chunk of this, and I'm going to call that dq, um, what I would do is I would say, well, the voltage at this point, dv, is equal to k dq over R. And then I will integrate this whole thing you know, across all of, all of these to get the voltage at that point right there. So, so V is equal to, uh, now the one thing to realize is that R is a constant all the way around here. So this is going to be k over r uh, times the integral of dq. And uh, when I sum up all the little dqs, I get the total charge. So the voltage is just going to be k over r times q. But uh, we want to get a numerical value for that. And uh, because we have a numerical value for the charge, uh, so we got to get R in terms of this length. Well, let's do that. Uh, a semicircle, well, let's see. A circle has a circumference of 2 pi R. But this is only a semicircle. So this length L, if you, if you double L, you would get the circumference of a circle. So the 2 goes away. And if I solve for R, R is equal to L over pi. And a lot of people were asking me that this caused people a lot of concern. Like, where, where are they getting that pi from? Well, it's, it's because this is one of those weird problems where they're kind of giving you the circumference and asking you to solve for the radius. And so the pi gets moved around. So now I can plug in all my values. V is equal to k, which is what, uh, 8.99 times 10 to the 9 Newton meter squared per coulomb squared times the total charge, which is negative 7.50 microcoulombs. And I'm going to divide that by L, which is 0 0.14 meters, and I'm going to divide that by pi. And I plug in my values, and uh, I think we get the answer, the uh, correct answer uh, when you plug them all in. should be, what, negative 1.51, is that right? looking at the right one. I'm punting here because I don't have a calculator up here. So uh, megavolts. Is it megavolts? Yeah. Wow. Megavolts or what is mega times 10 to the 6? So one point negative 1.51 times 10 to the 6 volts. Okay, so now uh, this is a nice problem to, to think about. Look how I am learning. I want you to learn how to think with calculus. You know, it, it's just a way of looking at the world. I just uh, said, oh, we got a little tiny charge here. Let's come up with dq. 
and and then the the problem and then you know you apply the definition and then the problem just kind of takes care of itself and you have to know this little circumference and and so on but um, otherwise it's it's a pretty nice little problem any questions that is all